day to all of my emperors and empresses, gods and goddesses, kings and queens, princesses and princesses. Last but never least, we got the beaches and the beachettes. And I will never forget about the beaches and beachettes. Why? Because it's level to the bullshit, Sally. Now, anything you would like to know about me is in the description box below. We're going to get right into this, and I have a special message on tonight. And um, um, I'm coming from, we're going to come right from the good book, and I'm coming from Acts 26 and 4. As the Jewish leader are well aware, I was given a thorough Jewish training from my earliest childhood among my own people and in Jerusalem. If they would admit it, they know that I have been a member of the Pharisees, the strictest set of religion. Now I am on trial because of my hope in the fulfillment of God's promise made to our ancestors. In fact, that is why the 12 tribes of Israel zealously worship God night and day. And they share the same hope I have. Yet, your majesty, they accuse me for having this hope. Why does it seem incredible to any of you that God can raise the dead? I used, I used to believe that I ought to do everything I could to oppose the very name of Jesus, the Nazareth. Indeed, I did just that in Jerusalem. Authorities by the leading priests, I caused many believers there to spend to be sent to prison and I cast my vote against them when they were condemned to death many times I had them punished in the synagogues to get them to curse Jesus some people want you to curse the almighty but I'm going to keep going I was so violent opposed to them that I even chased them down in foreign cities this is saw by the way one day I was on such a mission to Damascus armed with the authority and commission of the leading priests so the leading priest told us all, you know what, go ahead, go, get the, go to Damascus. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm go ahead and handle that for me. Saul was basically a hitman. Hired by the priest. I'm going to keep going. About noon, your majesty, as I was on the road, a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, shone down on me. And my companion. And my companions. Here you go. Thank you. We all fell down. And I heard a voice saying to me. In Archmedic. Archmedic. Saul. Saul. Why are you persecuting me? It is useless for you to fight against my will. 
Who are you? Who are you, Lord? I asked. And the Lord replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now get to your feet, for I have appeared to you to appoint you as my servant and witness. Tell people that you have seen me and tell them what I will show you in the future. God basically told the hitman, you my hitman now. <laughs> oh, the Almighty is so beautiful. And I will rescue you from both your own people and the Gentiles. Inside man, ain't that something? Yes, I am sending you to the Gentiles. Who oh, was sending me to the Gentiles? He had to be afraid of that. But something about a power coming from an unknown place and authority that's on so-called earth who you think gonna win that? I am sending you to the Gentiles to open their eyes so they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. Then they will receive forgiveness for their sins and to be given a place among God's people. God's people is some special people now who are set apart by faith in me. God people is set apart by faith. So the message on today, the hit man. We got somebody on the inside. I don't care how hard somebody try to fight, you cannot go against the Almighty. I don't care how much they think they got authority over you. The most high got the most authority. And if they try to scare you due to their um, inability to learn, then they got another thing coming. That priest thought he had saw in the bag. But the Almighty gave him a deal that he could not refuse. We didn't read the rest, but he definitely took that damn deal. One big cry. Somebody's crying. Somebody's crying. The number 91. Okay, I'm getting a lot of energy from... The number 91 might be very significant for somebody. I'm getting a lot of energies from this crying. First, I'm going to look up the number 10. Ten oh eight, Angel number. 1008 angel number indicates that a sequence of events is coming to a close in your life. The angel numbers are promising you that fresh prospects will, and it cuts off. So let's go into this. Angel number 1008, the angel number 1008, that a sequence of events is coming to a closure. Mm. Fresh prospects will appear in the future. What is prospects meaning? What's the definition of prospect? The possibility or likelihood of some future event occurring. Hope. You will have hope in the future. Someone here is miserable where they're at. The person that you're working for is telling you to do not so good, whether that be um, spiritually or in the physical world. You're not happy. Someone is unhappy. This is what you should know. Someone is unhappy. They're doing bad. And they and they they need to cry. Somebody's holding a lot in. I'm getting the energy of that. Keep going on, my spirit. Fighting. Someone is fighting. Now, either we fighting back these tears. The number nine is very significant. The number 98. Somebody is fighting. 
somebody is fighting, um, come on, bring it to me, bring it to me, bring it to me. Somebody is fighting to, uh, fighting the Almighty. Because what did the, what did he just say in the scripture? He said that go ahead and go there to Demias or Demias, whatever. Go on here and go to the B town. When you go to D-Town, try to bring them in, tell them, like, to turn them from sin. Turn them from sin to goodness or turn them from Satan to, to God. Somebody is fighting. Somebody um, enjoys doing bad. Or I'm going to say they don't know no other way. I'm going to say it like that. Can we keep going one more? One more, please. One more. Okay. Okay, the Almighty is... Okay. It feels so much better being clean than dirty. This is my bathtub card. It feels so much better to relax. But I'm getting the energy that somebody is... Somebody feel like they're not good. Somebody feel like they're not worthy. Somebody feel like they're not good enough. The number eight. I see eight here twice. And I see nine here twice. And the number one might be significant for somebody. I'm led to look up 108. eight is lucky and special seeing this number assures you of the presence of angels in your life it is a sign that you that your hard work is and then it cuts off so let's go um so somebody been working hard somebody's really working hard trying to win people over too i'm getting energy of that but there is some type of stubborn energy here that somebody feel like they're not good enough. They did so much bad. The angel number 108 symbol, symbolism asks you to be strong and happy in your spirituality. Whatever you did to get to where you are right now, do not be ashamed of that. There is no need to be ashamed of who you are today. It made you who you are. You are strong. Relax. It's okay to let your hair down. It's okay to clear your mind. It's okay to meditate. It's okay to dig into your higher self. Oh, but I was bad. Nuh uh. Because Saul was bad and God chose him. Saul did, wasn't aware. You heard him say, I would tell them so much, turn against God, turn against God. They just wouldn't do it. The same people that he killed, they died. God came like, hey, come on, I need you on my squad. Because you don't, obviously, you don't believe what them people were saying. I need you on my squad. Hey, do this. They bowed down. The light shined upon them. God said, no, nah, get to your feet. I need you to do something for me. What are you fighting for? You don't want them to hear your story? What are you fighting for? Why do you only cry once? Why are you suppressing emotions? There's a sign of an uneased spirit around. It could be you, but someone is so uneased. They feel hurt. They're sad. They're, they feel like they're not worthy. somebody around like good that might be the case but if the almighty choosing them who are you to say whether it's good or not that they don't feel worthy nobody should peep, peep or treat somebody wrong just for the hell of it authority is around this mean motherfucker right here this eight this um king of swords because it came out in reverse. But I'm going to take it up right. Somebody didn't use their authority for not all that good. This same king is having to go within. 
there's the hermit spiritual retreat investigation going within somebody's curious about the almighty somebody's curious about what's real not what religion say not the um white jesus on the wall not the um gossiping and all of that in church not the uh talking about people and childish shit like that somebody want to know the real he killed to get to this position somebody's crying in remorse on all that they have done they cry miserable they feel stupid, ugly. They're calling themselves names. They treat themselves like sheep. But this is bringing them. This is bringing them to look within. He did all that killing. He was believing that what the people have. He was hoping. But he, since he didn't get no proof until God showed him some proof. This would be a father, father of your children. Somebody about to find out what real love is. Almighty give nothing but chances after chances after chances. Okay, the fighting card, please. The fighting card, please. The fighting card. 17 might be significant for somebody. As soon as I say that, yep, fighting. Because somebody was pushy. A bossy beach. Didn't want to heal. There's that Queen of Swords. So we got a, a, a couple here. Both of them was in a lot of addictions. Hold on. Let me just pick this up. Hold on. Bossy. Pushy. Lying. Manipulating. Somebody is fighting all of that. Somebody want to be doing all of that. All of these came out. And at the bottom, yep, Ace of Swords in reverse. Making the wrong decisions. Constantly making the wrong decisions. Not wanting to heal. Putting holes in the boat, in the boat on purpose. So we can't get to the light. Somebody did something to you intentionally. So that you couldn't get to the light. The Almighty asked you to help them now. This person act real psycho. This could be a couple. You could have been living with these people. The devil card. Addictions. Obsessions. Violent. Hurting you. I'm getting a vision of somebody choking somebody out here. Constantly making the wrong decisions. Black magic. Children, I'm getting a sense of children. You got children looking at you. They're looking at you. And they thinking that's the right decision to make. You're going to get... Karma is going to be... You're going to see... You're going to see karma for what it is. For real. The irony of how people think... Stuff is not going to come back to bite them in the ass. But something is telling me that you are seeing... Day by day, you learning something new that shocks the hell out of you. Seven of Wands. They stood up for what they believed in with this. Just like he did. He said, I was killing people. Oh, you talking about Jesus? You talking about how good Jesus is? Okay, come on. Bring him to the synagogues. Knock him off. Told you he a hit me for the priest. Keep going. Keep going. And something I, something just came to me. You are a sacrifice for the most high. And something else just came to me. Listen to this song, y'all. Sacrifice. Or when you get a chance, listen to... Um, listen to... Um, the Weekend. The name of the song is Sacrifice. Listen to that. You was a sacrifice for the Most High. You was fighting. They fought so hard. Like God is real. The Most High is real. 
the ancestors is real. Then you heard what he said. I promise this to the ancestors, and people stood on that. They kept praising God. They couldn't stop them from praising God. If the Almighty is real, the Almighty is real for you. There's many different religions and and all that good stuff, but there's some truths in all of them. If we want to be real, yours is just not the right way. Hell, even Saul had to been doing something, right? You you question that, right? But the Almighty was able to bring that Negro that Negro in, and that definitely was a Negro. You couldn't convince me otherwise. Hold on. the judgment card and and the eight of pentacles so now we have judgment somebody is realizing that the almighty way is the only way and another thing you cannot be mistreating people for the hell of it Somebody used their hands for wrong. Now they got blood on their hands. But that's okay. The Almighty said, that's okay. I can save you. Come on my side. Judge me. The Almighty is so wonderful that even the most, the person who would be killing and thievery and, and even rape and molestation if you ask me if you being honest about it if you being true about who you are if the almighty can forgive so many people in the bible home dude and took uh, home dude wife I forget what story this was but he had the man set up and killed to get his wife and God still showed him favor he, he like okay you still gonna he still had consequences but he still showed him favor Look at Saul. He he done killed God's people. The one who was like, oh, God, it's good. Stop saying God is good. Stop saying God is good. I'm going to kill you to this. Ain't no I'm going to kill you. He killed him. Saul killed them. Until they was on their way to Demise. Demise. Whatever. D-Town. <laughs> D-Town. Girl, you laughing. They was on their way to D-Town. God was like, hold up. What you doing? Why are you trying so hard? Why are you persecuting my people? Why are you trying to get me so much? You're not going to get me. But I'm going to get you. <laughs> I got you, babe. I got you, babe. The energy around here. This person's so stubborn. I'm getting the energy. You can't teach me nothing. I just heard them in my head. You can't teach me nothing. Oh, <laughs> I can't teach you, eh? You're a hard learner, eh? Two of Wands. There's some planning. Somebody's about to go on a journey. Somebody is about to experience. You can't be taught, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Somebody had poor qualities. Poor qualities. This person was not focused at all. Almighty said, come on, let me get you focused. Look at this one thing. I need you to look at this one thing right here. Let me zoom in. Let me get you focused real quick. It's so amazing how the Almighty keep giving gifts. Keep giving gifts. Keep giving. Okay, choose the path. Almighty, like, choose the path. Come on, where you? Come on, judge the time. 
Now it's time for you to pull, choose, choose a path. I'm letting you know, choose a path. Somebody waiting on something. thank you you've been redeemed you've been saved for real this time ain't no going back it come on now because we all know i'm not trying to down church i love me some church at each church better when i used to go to the go do they get down to the real needy greedy of things or do they get down to the real needy greedy of things talking about the real issue real problems. I ain't never heard that verse in the um, good book. Well, I probably have. They, they keep talking about the same thing. That's that priest. That's that priest that sent Saul. But Saul didn't have no beliefs. He was just doing the, he was a hitman. He was doing what he asked him to do. There's the tower card. <laughs> Explosion. Explosion. Oh, this these non-stop tears now. Th that crown, it flew right off his fucking head. Look at him. That same crown. His head. His mind is blown now. The almighty God show me him. Jesus show me. Yahweh shall show me his face. Well, the sun, the light. Something was brighter than the sun. We, got, we about to go ride on these fools. You get good money working for the Almighty. Look, he went within. The Almighty, like, he like, damn, I gotta do some, I gotta go within. I gotta do some isolation. I gotta investigate this. That's what he said. And there's the Hierophant. Okay. Somebody's conforming here. Conforming to the Almighty, that's the energy that I got with that. A lot of things happened to him. New project. He got a new job. Okay, you going on a different mission, my bro. Come here, come over here. Okay. Yeah, nine of swords. He felt guilty. Crying. Fighting. This can't be real. He going. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, we have here the um page of cups and we also have here the hanging. We also have here walking away. Somebody's walking away, doing what the Almighty said, turning away from their evil ways. There we go. Thank you, Almighty. Just one. All we need is one. Somebody turning away from them childish ways. Someone is seeing like, oh, wait, maybe I wasn't all that right. Maybe I was wrong. You could turn your, come on down, the, come on down the aisle and turn your life over right now. The Almighty don't want to punish nobody. But if you picking with with God's people, obviously God will um turn you around and use you as an example. Somebody is being used as an example, like Saul. That's what we gonna name that. Somebody is being used as an example. You got to do some going within. It's time to turn a new page for a new chapter. It's time to go within. Somebody is detached.
they know that they next let's keep going what, what's right here yeah the queen because that mm -hmm, the queen of cups they know that they, they was negative this person is negative they know they was negative you can't you can't do both because something just telling me and it might be a, a mother and a son i'm getting the energy here a mother and a um mother and a son too negative detached i'm getting the energy here no darling don't tear me i'm getting the energy here that a mother uh there's a conniving or or vindictive child around her she really don't get no attention to i'm getting an energy of that somebody is very detached this person got mother issues and everything else but we gonna get off of that Somebody's walking away from the fa family heirloom to do their own thing. I'm getting the energy of that, too. Okay. So, yeah. I'm getting the energy. Somebody is detached from their mom. Somebody is, like, negative towards their mom. Has a drinking problem as well. Hella drinking problem. And they probably seen their mother drinking. This is just some of their backstory. This is probably one of the reasons why they were so quick to take that job from the priest. To do all that negative work. To do all that killing and, and hurting people and, and trying to um, get people to change, change their minds about God. That's the energy that I'm getting with that. Anything else you like them to know, Almighty? Anything else? Okay, let's see. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? What's on their mind now? Ancestors. Oh my dang, they just flew out there. The night, the nine of cups. Hmm. Oh, they're very moody. And something else flew. Oh yeah. Somebody this is giving me bipolar. One minute they're happy, the next minute they're sad. Trying to gain courage. And then we have the justice at the bottom. They knew they wasn't fair. They knew they did wrong. They knew they was going back and telling things. They knew they was trying to get other people in trouble with their little conniving ways. Uh little sneaky conniving cunning ways. It's judgment season out here, y'all. They wasn't fair. Somebody worked so hard just to do wrong. They wasn't fair at all. So dishonest that it probably put somebody in jail. So dishonest that it probably got somebody killed. So dishonest that like innocent people got hurt. That's the energy that I'm getting. And this is on their mind now. Because when the Almighty gets involved, there's the Almighty been involved. The Almighty's always watching. Somebody here invested so much into their life, even though everything is God's plan, that this person was so greedy, they wanted theirs and the and yours. But the Almighty work in it mysterious ways y'all mysterious ways this is a mysterious message one more and then we're gonna go ahead and get on our business one more almighty what would 
would you like to know about this good old message to ease their minds or you know just something that they need to hear not to ease their minds I ain't all look for mind ease you gotta think about some of the things that you have done how would you change it okay um message final message about this particular God get the glory, even though Saul did that, God got the glory. When the people were sitting up there praising, God got the glory. When Saul went to the, the D town, that was all for God's glory. You can never catch the Almighty up. Some things you just won't know at the time. Some things is mysterious. That's what I'm getting. The number 65 might be significant for somebody, but that all breaks down to number 11. And that all breaks down to number two. So we got the uh, what the high priest is here. And I think the justice card is number 11, if that serves me correctly. Then I just see the justice card. Yeah, I thought I'd just seen the justice card. I think the justice card is number 11. Because 10 is the will of fortune. And the number 11, I think that's right is the justice card I think it's the justice card I think it is yeah the number 11 is the justice card so something very mysterious is going to happen I'm getting the energy of that you're not going to see it coming they're not going to see it coming it's going to be in compassion didn't we say something about the color pink the other day here's it don't got no message on this side. It don't got no message on this side. And this is pink. This Both of these is pink. So, um, something mysterious is going to happen. And it's all going to be with love and compassion. Unconditional love. It's unconditional. That's the final message. The color pink. I just went over this the other day with y'all. Look up the spiritual, look up the spiritual um, meaning of the color pink. And I'm going to just leave, leave off with, how many minutes do we have? The number 65. And I just want to tell y'all, have a prosperous evening. And love thyself, heal thyself, know thyself. But I'm looking at the angel. Um, if it let me, it's like it won't let me type. 65, angel number meaning. Angel number 65 is giving you a message from a guardian angel that your efforts and trans your efforts to transform and improve your life. Ain't God good and improve your life are being appreciated by the divine energies. Oh, God gonna get God gonna get God say the end of the day. God is gonna get God say. Okay, that's all. I hope y'all have a prosperous one. Love and guidance. Deuce, deuce. Kiss, kiss. Talk to you soon.